Hey everybody, it's Richard Unicorn Caller here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. We are in the pet pavilion right now because there is a bunch of pet related stuff that is happening with the game. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. We're going to go to the crown shop because we do have a pet sale of some sort. Um, obviously not every single pet um, is on sale. However, these are some of the pets that are on sale. So they got the Dapper Corgi for 6,000 crowns, a Beastling for 3,000, yeah, 3,750 crowns. They have a bunch of pets. They're basically 25% off. Honestly, I kind of wish it was all the pets, but again, you know, it is, you know, just there if you want it. The little, the funny thing about this pet, the little Atatsker, this one is a very funny pet. So, when this pet first released, I believe it was when Wizards of the Underground first released, it was like an hour, it was like an hour in, right when the update launched. Funny thing is, this pet was actually worth about a thousand gold, right? It was a glitch, I don't know if it was a glitch or a mess up, but basically you can go to the gold tab and you can buy this pet. So I bought like 50, I just bought so many retats, I was like, ooh, it's for gold, I was... I was buying so many, and that's kind of how, like, my pet lending thing on Twitter and stuff like that, that's how I kind of got interested in lending pets, because right when this pet launched and that glitch happened, I started lending everybody this little pet. I was like, hey, you want this little Tatsuka? I, I got it at adult air. I had, like, 50 of them. And um, this is the, uh, you know, it was in its original form, so you get the or original base talents and stuff like that. But, yeah, it was just, it was nice, though, you know? Obviously. It was a glitch. It wasn't supposed to happen, but still, though, fun, funny thing about that this pet, the little red tat I don't know if anybody knew about that, but that was a funny glitch. That, that was really funny. But moving on from that, in the crown rewards, this is the last day for the crown rewards. Okay, so if you want your little fifty thousand crown dab emote today, it's the last day. Okay, this is the last day for it. So fifty thousand crowns. Get it while it's hot, you know. Get it while it's hot, and you know, there you go. All right, moving on from that. I think that's pretty much it from the crown shop. I think. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go on to the events. Beast Moon Monster Mayhem has officially ended, so make sure you um, you know, go claim your rewards and stuff like that. The Pet Pro Meade, probably one of my favorites. This one will rack you up a bunch of points, not only, but you get some pretty good loot out of it. So, right here at this 40 point ward, you get three snacks from a snack pack, and then you get a hatching elixir, and then if you keep going, you get a peruse potion, which is one of my favorites. It basically resets your hatching timer. And so, this is a really good potion to have, especially if you're hatching multiple times. You get 5,000 gold. You get the next hatch free elixir in case you're trying to hatch with maybe an ultra pet that has a lot of good stats, but you just do not have have about a hundred thousand gold on you you can always use this little hatch elixir and that will basically make the next hatch free so pretty cool stuff grilled cheese recipe plus four cheese snacks so um there you go you get the um grilled cheese recipe right there i don't know if that's new but that looks like a pretty good um recipe i don't know so, again, elemental and spirit pet tokens is what you get. And then you get a random pet jewel plus a chance at a hamster. So, again, some of this stuff is kind of like basic. You don't really have to do much. You know, win a pet game five times, feed a pet snack one point per age to epic. You know, hatch a pet, feed pet snacks to happiness. You know, just some common stuff. You know, it's not too hard. The reason I like this one, though, my favorite, the pet permeate, is because you get all these free elixirs. And I have a whole bank just filled of elixirs that I don't even use. But I'll probably use them during when Lemuria comes out, which... We're going to talk a little bit, a tiny bit, about Lemuria. We are kind of wrapping up the September month. I mean, pretty much like two days or three days left. And that's pretty much it for, the, um, you know, the birthday month, you know? You know. And a free code, that free code also will expire too. I'll make a video tomorrow or probably on the 30th talking about when that free code will expire. You get a bunch of loot from it, so if you haven't claimed it already, 
Um, I'll just leave a link, or I'll just leave it in the comments below. I'll just leave it pinned up in the comments, but I'll also just make, um, a separate video saying, free code, last chance, you know, last chance to get the free code until, um, it expires. Now, I was also waiting on, I was waiting to see if Wizard101, which I haven't posted yet, I was waiting on if they were gonna post anything regarding the, um, the quarter main thing, right? And we talked about this a little bit earlier, and I'll show you the recipe again, but they're doing this little promotion on their Instagram where they give you a little bit of bio about quarter main stallion, which is the hype us up for Lemuria and stuff like that, and there's a free code, and you know, that free code is for the reagent. A lot of people had questions about that. They were like, yo, what's this free code? I just got a reagent. And be like, yeah, that's it. It's, it's just a reagent. It's not a free mount. I wish it was a free mount. I really do, but um, no, it is just um, a reagent, and you can find the crafting recipe to use this reagent on right over here by Lloyd in the shopping district go all the way into the furniture or a decoration I believe and this is the quarter main standee I already mentioned this before you need seven paper pulp reagents which you can get the paper pulp reagents from doing this type of you know code promotion that they're doing on their Instagram you know so they still haven't said anything. So I'm guessing that probably next week we might get something or tomorrow. You know, it's still this kind of earlier in the week. So maybe tomorrow we'll get that free code or something like that. I don't know. I'm kind of sad that the birthday week has kind of already ended. I don't know. It just feels like, I don't know. I feel like they could have went more in. Like, I feel like they kind of went all out, like maybe a crown sale, maybe a pack of palooza, bundle palooza, and... The account A specific ones, uh, I don't know, I keep talking about this, but again, I'm not the biggest fan about these ones. I don't like how it's 100 crowns. The next time they do this, I feel like it's going to be something like an account age like mount, and it's going to cost like probably like 5,000 crowns. I don't know, I probably still want to do it. I don't know. Again, I'm not trying to spend any more money on this game. Speaking of money, let's talk about the little Gamma plushie. 2,300 orders sold so far. So I think it's going to reach 3,000 orders. And like I said, I think it's easier if you get it now. Because of course, we're going to see a lot of people trying to resell the product. And resell the code that comes with it and all that stuff. So, you know, if you really want the Gamma plushie, but you're still kind of conflicted just remember that um it is a time limited thing it's not forever i believe there's like 20 ish or 23 days left i'm not actually sure but again this is a limited time type of thing so if you really want that gamma plushie make sure you're getting it within that certain time frame because a lot of people are buying it a lot of people like it hey if it was a whiz hat, I'm insta buying it, but I'm not really a big fan of plushies. I don't know. I don't need to spend $26 on a plushie. That's just how I roll. Speaking of that, or speaking of promotions and stuff like that, let's talk a little bit about the European Wizard 101 side. I know a lot of you guys have been asking, you know, back and forth, like, hey, what's going on with, like, the Europe servers? Is everything all right? And at the moment, it seems like... You know, they're just doing sales and stuff like that. I mean, honestly, looking from it, from, like, their perspective, honestly, they did a better job with the birthday week, honestly. Lots of promotions. Definitely lots of promotions. Um, more than the U.S. side, of course. And they're actually going into maintenance tomorrow on the 29th. The regularly scheduled, like, type of, like, scheduled maintenance on Wednesday. So, obviously, no, the server's not shutting down. They're just doing maintenance to make sure it's fine. This is just a regularly scheduled maintenance that was all the news I can find about the Wizard 101 Europe. We're kind of all caught up to date with all the fiasco and the one crown and like um, additional character slot elixir. So I don't know. It's just crazy because on the U.S. side, you know, on the U.S. side, we go to the elixirs. We look at the additional character slot elixir, and it's at eighteen thousand, right? And then you look at something like the fifty like the 50, the level 50 elixir as well, and that's also something um, as expensive as, you know, I actually don't know how expensive that is, but, um, yeah, it's just crazy what's happening with, um, Wizard 101 Europe, hopefully, you know, something is, hopefully something works, or whatever it is, it is crazy, and it is scary to think about, and I will keep you guys updated on anything else 
um, that does happen with um, the European servers. But my name is Richard Unicorn Caller. Have a happy Tuesday, everybody. Study hard. I got lots of homework to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and thank you so much for watching.